Martha is back, and we know you're going to love this. Uh, she has her gnomes today from Gnomistry, and Martha, we just figured out your title would technically be Gnomist. I love it. Yeah. So, of course, uh, you're going to be at the Indoor Street Fair at the Moorhead Center Mall with all of your fabulous gnomes. And if you could, kind of run us through the types of gnomes we'll be seeing uh, and kind of what we can find there. Okay. Well, I have... I have gnomes uh, that just sit on the table. I have gnomes with splayed legs. I have gnomes that stand on legs and gnomes that stand on their feet. I have gnomes that um, have dangle legs, even have little magnets and keychains. So really there's a gnome for every occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So whatever you could use that for. And I love that you've kind of got a different um, kind of a different vibe or a different genre for each. So you've got the lemon one, because it's summer. Yeah. And we love that. You have a coffee one over there. And of course, the Vikings. I think this is adorable. Yeah, that's a pretty popular one. So do you find a lot of people kind of gravitate toward those things, like the Minnesota sports and things that are more regional? I think that it's it's a very individual thing. Mm. Some people love the, the puppy gnomes. Some people love the coffee gnomes. So it, it's a very individualized thing. And I make a lot of gnomes that are special orders for people. Well, I think we've all heard of Elf on a Shelf. Uh, maybe there's something to be said for gnome in your home. Oh, I love it. <laughs> We're going to work on a marketing campaign. <laughs> Excellent. I need that. And of course, the Indoor Street Fair is this week. And how long have you been preparing for it and kind of building these things? Oh, gosh. Um, I just do it all the time. I'm just constantly busy uh, with getting them together um, months and months. Where do you get your ideas? Some of them are themey, for instance, you know, the pet ones. Where do you get the ideas for this? Uh, well, I look, at, uh, I look at gnomes online, and I look at fabric, and uh, a lot of times the fabric gives me ideas. That is very, very clever. And I know, you know, I can see them very close up. I'm here. I know you guys are you're out there at home, but they're so quality in terms of the level of crafting that goes into them. Thank I mean, you. they're just beautiful close up. There is not one tiny little imperfection. I think they're just great. How much time does it take to create maybe a gnome like this? Hours and hours and hours. Oh. Uh, more than half a day on that one. Really? Maybe even a day, yeah. Sure, and of course, it's probably because it's got so many little intricate details. You know, you've got the hair, you've got the little hat, the mittens, the little uh, the bead nose. Exactly. I just mm -hmm. love this. Oh, so do you have uh, in your own home? Do you have a lot of gnomes, and what kind of uh, what kind of decor did you go with for that? Well, I um, I have tons of them downstairs. Of course. <laughs> where they're waiting for their own home. But I have uh, one of the first ones that I made that I really loved is kind of a, a little woodsy, kind of a simple gnome. And I have him Aww. up with my, in my china cabinet even. And uh, yeah, I uh, have one with over with the plants. <laughs> so if somebody sees this and they, you know, they love what you have, but they're thinking, maybe I want something that's just my own. Do you do special orders? I absolutely do. I love special orders. Do you ever have anybody come to you, um, you know, maybe that they had a mom or a grandma or a friend that passed away that just loved gnomes and maybe take something that belonged to them and create kind of a, a sentimental piece? I haven't done it with like actually somebody's clothing or anything, mm -hmm. although I'd be happy to. But I, I have created gnomes um, that represent particular people. Oh, that's fantastic. So you can mm -hmm. kind of create, you know, everybody sees on the back of someone's car, you've got like the mom and the dad and the kid and the dog. Mm -hmm. But you could create a whole gnome family if that's what somebody liked. Yes, I did that for Barbara at 3Bs. I made her oh. a, a 3B gnome family with a mama, papa, and a baby. I just love, I think this is such a great way to celebrate spring or even summer. And I guess you could really do it seasonally. Do you, around Christmas time, do you end up doing a lot of seasonal kind of holiday gnomes? Well, I haven't really been doing this quite a year yet, but I started with like Christmas gnomes, things like that. So oh. yes, gnomes for every holiday. <laughs> Absolutely. Gnomes for everyone. <laughs> I love this. Thank you so much for joining us, Martha. Thanks. Thanks These for are fantastic. Me. And of course, this is one of those things that you can find at the Indoor Street Fair at the Moorhead Center Mall. It's also worth noting that at the Moorhead Center Mall, because they have a lot of parking, there are going to be buses that can take you from the mall 
to the downtown street fair. So it's a really good chance to get both events in in the same day or the same weekend. And they have air conditioning. We love air conditioning because no it wind. has been humid <laughs> and no wind and bathrooms. <laughs> everything, everything that you need, you'll find there at Moorhead Center Mall. Now stay with us. Uh, coming up next, we're going to have your daily dose of motivation. We always love that part of the show. So we'll be right back.